Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the anime music visualizer you guys saw in the beginning. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website where you can buy some editing packs, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, let's get right into this. So the first thing we're going to do is to add a clip, of course. And this clip uh, is the one I've chosen. It's from Tokyo Ghoul. And you need to find a clip you can loop, like this one here. You can see if I press Ctrl D and then put it after the clip again. You guys can see it's just looping all the time. So yeah, you need to find a clip like that. And uh, you can download anime clips on animeclips.com I think uh, I think it was I will link it in the description uh, the website I found the clip so yeah after you have chosen your clip here and uh, uh, are done with all of that you're going to wrote the brush out your character here and if you don't know how to wrote the brush I made a tutorial on it which will be linked in the description so uh, check that out first if you don't know how to wrote the brush so yeah now your clips should look something like this now so now you can actually do what I did before uh, press ctrl D and then drag the clip behind the, the first clip and do this again and again and one last time here so this whole visualizer is going to be eight seconds long and you will be able to loop it afterwards and get a clean look but yeah after you have filled up your whole composition here you can open up composition settings and here we're going to change some settings here so i'm going to change the width to 720 and the height to 480 and the frame rate is going to be 8. So yeah, now you can see it's pretty zoomed in here. So we want to fix that by selecting all of the layers. Boom. And then press S. And change the scale to 45. If you had FHD before. Then. Uh, looks a little bit glitchy here. But don't worry, worry about that. But be before we fix that, I want to uh, make the background pop a little bit more. Because we, you know, we didn't rotobrush brush the, the character for no reason here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to add a overlay from my overlay editing pack. Uh, you can find it on my website. And here you're going to open up time remapping by pressing Ctrl Alt T. I want to drag it, drag it out a little bit so it's not going that fast. Maybe something like this looks good. Drag it down. We're going to be adding four color gradient because I want it to fit in with uh, the eye here, which is red. And so I'm going to change the color here to red as well. And then change the blending mode to color. And then we're going to add a deep glow. We're going to leave it at the default settings in the beginning, just like that. We're just going to check smooth blending. And then keyframe the radius and exposure, go to the ending, which in this case is 8 seconds. And from there, set the radius to 370 and the exposure to 2.47 looks really really clean and now i'm going to make an adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and on the adjustment layer i'm going to be adding signal and here you're going to open up luma modulation and then uncheck tape errors and here we're also going to change the emulating vhs to vhs ep and then set the device device connect to 50 so it looks something like this Press the clock in the beginning, go to the ending, 8 seconds, and set it to 0. And I recently made a CRT tutorial, uh, which I thought was amazing, uh, to be honest. <laughs> so I want to use the effect again here. So I'm going to add the CRT preset here, boom. And if you don't have it, I'm going to be linking the CRT tutorial in the description, so you guys can check it out and get the same preset as well. And it's you don't need any plugins or anything, it's just the normal after effects and here we're just going to uncheck the glow here the first glow here and then we're going to pre-compose all of the layers right click pre-compose and then make a new adjustment layer Control alt y transform and then set the scale to 115 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this tutorial on this uh, anime music visualizer uh, please like and subscribe and, uh, and don't forget to give me some new ideas on tutorials I can make and uh, you know check out my website, join my discord server, check out my socials and uh, yeah I will see you guys soon, take care and have a nice day.